And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a small game from Zoc called Muno, an utterly fun card game. Now honestly, this box should be ripped up based on the name and that. If you use the word utterly ever, then your, shouldn't, your game shouldn't get played. Uh, but Muno sounds suspiciously similar to a popular game that has um, about getting down to one card in Spanish, Uno, most people played Uno before. Is this similar? Well, yeah, it is, but this one involves cows. Let me show you. So the game's all about this deck of cards here. There are different cows on the back and each cow is going to have one, two, or possibly three spots on them. They're going to be different types of cows, which is shown by their color that's on the back of them. And on the other side, you have a cow patty, uh, cow patty along with Muno, who is uh, the fly who's causing all this trouble. So each player is going to get seven cards and then the Muno is placed in the middle of the table. The first person can play their card pretty much wherever they want next to Muno. The thing is, when you play cards, let's say I play the card here, for example. This cow is facing this direction, which means the next cow needs to be facing this direction. They're just going to go around and around like this. However, when you play a cow, the spots on that cow, one of the spots must correspond where Muno is. So you can see here that this one this side is where Muno is here on this one. And here in the front, that's where Muno is. If I wanted to play a cow here, this one cannot play. This one can play here because the spot is where Muno is. This one could not be played here because there's no spot here. So players are going to be doing this as they play those. You can see here, you're just going to go around and around. And when you get here, you'll play on top like that. If you can't play a card where Muno is, so for example, well here I can play a card like this. And here I can play a card like this, but now it's my turn and I don't, this is the only card I have left. I don't have a card with a spot in the back. So then you draw a card. When you draw a card, you might be able to play it right away, but Muno might change too. When this card is drawn, you'll see this, where Muno is, has, he has changed position. And so your, your goal is to get rid of all the cards. When you're down to one card, you will say Moo instead of saying Uno. And if you get rid of all your cards then everyone will get points for the cards left in their hand equal to the number of spots on the cows. And then you add those and everyone goes, there's one round for per player. Whoever has the most points is, or the least points is the winner of the game. So what do the different colors do? Well, these cows here, they pretty much do nothing. They're just grazing cows. This cow here, a cow patty cow, uh, when you play him, the number of spots is how many cards the next person draws, unless they also play one, in which case you add the spots together. You keep going until someone can't play one, then they're going to have to draw a pile of cards from the middle. A dairy cow will cause the next player to, the next number of players to skip their turn based on how many spots. So this one would skip two players' turns. Then we have this cow here, the meadow cow. The meadow cow lets you play additional cards equal to the number of spots on them. Although there are some specific rules on them, the first has to be a grazing cow or a party cow, and then the second has to be a dairy cow or a cow patty cow. Um, you can also play another metal car, but that's the only one you can play. And you can't play this one as the first card in a round. That's a lot of rules, I understand, for that card, but that's just the way it is. Speaking of party cows, party cows are always played in the opposite direction. They change the order that the cows go around. And also when you play a party cow, you will change the sound people make when they're down to one card. And so instead of saying moo, it has to be another animal sound so I could say oink, for example. And that's the new sound that people have to make. So those are the different types of cards that are played. There's also a bzzz if you see someone else making a mistake and then it makes them draw a card from the pile. Um, and then you can also play a variant when there's red eyes on Muno. He's evil or whatever, and you can't place a cow on the side where there's red eyes. So you have to skip that spot when you're going around. Anyway, that's how you play Muno. Now, 
I wish I could be sometimes in the pitch meetings for these games because someone was there and I was like, hey guys, you know Uno? Oh yeah, yeah, Uno's made a billion bucks. Right, well, let's take Uno and add more complex rules to it and a cow patty theme. You're, you got it, Johnny, let's do it. And then I would walk across the room and be like, Psh, come on, Johnny, let's do an original fun game. That's really what this is. It's Uno. Now, I, I hate Uno. I hate it. However, it can be mindless fun. You sit there, play the same color, play the same number, draw two, skip, reverse, whatever. Simple. This game makes it more complex. Hey, when you play a cow, it matters. Which Wait, which side of the cow am I playing on? I'm playing on that side. Okay, do I have how many spots I have on that side? You're constantly reorienting the cards in your hand. Then, what does this card do again? The party cow is the other direction. They don't say on the cards. So it takes a while before you remember yellow is draw and pink is reverse and green is play extra cards, but only play extra cards. Who thought that was a good idea to limit what cards can be played after you play a green card? That's just insane. Play two more cards. Who cares what cards they are? Oh, we don't want to set off combos. Then don't put that in the game. A game like this, a game like Uno or something simple like that should be just that simple. People have loved Uno because it's easy to play. Reversing the order of cows and figuring out the orientation of the card, where the spot is, what the sound is that I have to make, which is that whole, let's be silly. Yeah, this is just a mess. Now, when I play these types of games, I'm thinking target audience, right? Target audience would be my kids. My kids like Uno. They like games like that. They hated this one because this one was so... It, they just had to keep constantly remembering what goes where and what does that card do and how does this... And nobody had any fun. And then when it was over, and was like, yay. And I was like, no, that's round one. And then there was anger and rioting in the Vassal household. I do not like games that cause anger and rioting in the Vassal household. So I'm gonna have to say, don't get this. Really, if you're looking for this type of game, just get Uno or one of the many fun variations of Uno. There's a lot of interesting variations. Muno is not one of those. Dice Tower of Judgment, it's a cow patty. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door.